Welcome back into Sports Sunday. Marshall Harris, Joe Musso with some company here in studio. Happy to welcome in a couple of the Sacramento River Cats. Uh, pitchers Tyler Beatty on the outside and Ty Blocks right next to me. Guys, first of all, thanks for taking some time out of what has been a beautiful Sunday to, to hang out inside with us here. We really do appreciate it. Oh, glad to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Well, you were telling us you spent, spent plenty of time outside, had a practice today. You're getting into the mix this season. You know, where are the heads at coming into this one? Because you look at it, it's a large sample size. You've got a lot of games to play coming up. Where are you guys at um, just in terms of uh, approaching this season? You take them one at a time, or what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think at this level you have to take it one at a time. I think uh, everybody's really excited about the group of guys that we have here, but uh, we also know how, how that works with AAA. You've mm -hmm. got guys going up, going down, and so uh, we're excited about the group we've got right now, but uh, it's going to be a fun season. Tyler, I have to ask you, you know, yeah. we talked just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. seems like an eternity ago <laughs> out in the desert. Uh, <laughs> glad that you brought the good weather with you, by the way. Uh, a couple of days. When you look at the way that, you know, things have played out here in the spring and yeah. not knowing whether or not uh, either one of you were going to be on that major league roster, is it more of a disappointing thing or you feel like you know what you need to do to make that jump? Yeah, I mean, I think we know what we need to do, but it's also a testament to the talent and depth that we have in the big leagues. It's just allows for competition to breed itself in a healthy environment and so we go about our business very professionally and we want to compete against each other in a way that builds each other up and makes each other better so when we take the ball every fifth day as starters we want to try to go out there and and do it build off of the other starters and mm -hmm. continue to, to work hard and as spots potentially open up in the big leagues we can you know work our way up there but goal like block was saying was just to take it day by day do what we need to do to prepare for, for the upcoming season. Yeah, I remember you telling us out there in Scottsdale that it really doesn't matter uh, what bump you're towing. You're going out there and doing the same thing, approaching it the same way. Uh, can you get yourself up the same way here in Sacramento? Because, you know, you said the fans are great, and they really are, but um, to be in the situation that both of you are right now, um, how do you approach it in, in making it feel like a big league situation? I think for me it's all about the process. Mm -hmm. So uh, no matter where you are, you've got to have goals and you've got to be able to attain those goals. So staying in the moment, staying one pitch at a time and, and working through that process, no matter where you are, uh, you've got to stay in that mindset. Otherwise, uh, you're going to let things that are out of con your control mm -hmm. uh, affect you and, and how you're going to go out and pitch. So just staying in the moment, like you're saying, one game at a time, one pitch at a time for us, I think that's the biggest thing. Absolutely. When you guys look at you know this city and this fan base, and kind of just where minor league baseball has gone over the years. Yeah. I, I know you've had experience in the big leagues where it's been a couple of starts or where there's been a couple of years. How, how does it compare minor league baseball versus major league baseball in terms of atmosphere? Uh, I think for me, I think it's always uh, fun to see the progression through the minor leagues. Mm -hmm. You see guys, uh, you know, work from rookie ball in Arizona where you have maybe two fans there and it's family, you know, <laughs> to, to now you're in AAA and you're getting 15,000 people mm -hmm. versus the big leagues, you got 50,000 people. So I think it's fun to see all the different levels of the progression there. And uh, it's great to see the different cities, you know, to see for me being back to downtown Sacramento, uh, last time I was here, the, the new arena hadn't been built yet, you mm -hmm. know, so to be down that in that area the last few days, to see that, to experience that, to see these cities, it's pretty fun. You couldn't have teed us up any better because Marshall and I were sitting there and, you know, we're, we're, it, we're curious. It's a me. great ballpark here in Sacramento, a, a great, you know, atmosphere surrounding it, but you guys get on that bus, you get on that flights and you see some seedy spots. Uh, what's the favorite and maybe least favorite spot that you guys visit during the season? Yeah, so there are a lot of fun spots in the PCL, but uh, I, Vegas. Think, Vegas. Yeah, I think Vegas is coming up. <laughs> well I'm glad they changed their stadium because the old one, for some reason, my balls that were hit were going over the fence. So oh, okay. I'm, gotcha. hopefully these ones will gotcha. stay in the yard. Mm -hmm. higher um, yeah, man, yeah, higher <laughs> elevation is never fun. But uh, yeah, Salt Lake City is always beautiful, not early on because it's a little mm -hmm. chilly, but you see the snow on the mountains, it's beautiful. So yeah, it's my uh, junior year here in the PCL, so I'm excited to see those cities again. <laughs> beautiful. We got San Antonio coming up this year, so. It's, it's always fun. But, but, but hold on, we're not going to let you escape that easily. What about yeah. least favorite? Well, media trained right there. That's a Le thing. Yeah, <laughs> least favorite. I mean, uh, New Orleans, just because when we were there, it's super hot mm -hmm. and the uh, field isn't, isn't, yeah, it's muggy and the field isn't the best condition or best place to play. And like Block was saying, there's not 15,000 fans like you get here in SAC. There's yeah. probably. The Zephyrs don't 100. pack them in? They don't pack them in like they used to, I heard. So uh, it's, yeah, it's probably my least favorite place to play is New Orleans. What about you, Ty? Yeah. 
It's been a while, but I, I would have to agree with that. There's there's a lot of pitcher friendly uh, parks in this league, uh, mm -hmm. but they're all in the other division. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <unfortunately. exactly. laughs> uh, So so I always like going and playing those guys, but um, you know. New Orleans is t it's a tough one just because there mm -hmm. isn't anybody there. You were talking about environments earlier, and and you get maybe 10 or 15 people yeah. in the stands. It, it's yeah. tough to pitch, but um, I don't know. It's a cool city though too. So there's a lot a lot of different trade offs in every different spot. I, I gotta ask you. Uh I did some research. <laughs> Your nickname is the Preacher. Can you give me some background? Yeah, where's that from? Uh, well, everybody knows Johnny Doskow, mm -hmm. uh, the beloved radio guy here for uh, Sacramento River Cats. And uh, so it was 2016, I believe, I was pitching uh, here in Sacramento. And, and just out of nowhere, he just started calling me the Preacher on the radio. And so, <laughs> so uh, you got that nickname here. I got that nickname here in Sacramento. So it, it's been pretty fun to, to be able to carry that with me. He, he gave that to me just I guess because of how I carry myself and and just always going around trying to preach my faith a little bit so uh Kind of fun to have that nickname carry carry yeah. me uh, through the big leagues. Even Johnny falls victim to the travel sometimes. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it gets a little loopy. I, I mean, we got the preacher and beads. What do you got for us? You got anything special? What did Johnny give you? Anything? Um, notorious, I think I go by my uh, rap alias, rapper name alias, Young Beta. So I think Young I, Beta. I'm, Young Beta. I'm Album yeah, coming I'm, soon. We'll use that in the highlight. Check <laughs> out on yeah, we'll use that in the highlight. Yeah, check me out on Spotify. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Guys. All right, well, we, re we really appreciate appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. Again, uh, they play uh, tomorrow. Exhibition against the double-A team for the Giants, San Jose. Can't wait to see what you guys do this season. Thanks, guys. Right. Appreciate it.